they are cute munchkins, Joanne, but if you get too close, they could probably break my neck easily with one blow. <laughs> They, they're so cute, and they, listen, they gave me this amazing, uh, what is this called again? Dogi. Dogi. Okay, okay, this is John from West Island Karate. We're so happy to be here this morning. The turnout is amazing. And that just goes to show how popular karate is. Uh, why, why is it so popular? Why do people catch on to it? Uh, people nowadays are looking for more than just an activity, just something more than to place their kids in. What they're looking for is something that they'll teach their kids values, uh, teach them the, the Asian philosophy, the Budo Karate that we teach in Kyokushin Karate. What are they doing behind us here? This is called Kihon. This is the basics. So they're working on the basic strikes, uh, basic uh, applications of the movement. So with repetitive movements, it starts becoming muscle memory. But also, it starts part of the discipline as well, to be able to continue pushing yourself uh, past your limits. So there's a lot of repetition, the muscles get tired, the brain gets tired. Uh, so that goes with the philosophy of Kyokushin Karate, which is uh, Oshi Shinobu, to push oneself. Now I noticed that I have a white belt on, and uh, that is obviously what I guess I have to start with. But people are already, you know, giving me the gears, making fun of me a little bit. So I want to get started on this. What's the first thing that you normally learn? First, the first thing that we do is the etiquette. We teach the beginners the etiquette. With the etiquette, you start to develop a respect for what you're doing. So it's how to bow when you enter the dojo, what you do, uh, putting on, taking off your shoes, removing them at the door, coming in uh, quietly, respectfully, you bow, uh, you get dressed quietly, you put up on your, your uniform, your dogi, dressing it with care. So it's paying attention to detail in what you do and how you do things, it's a reflection of how you're going to be training. Okay, perfect. Well, hey, listen, we're so excited to be here. In a couple of uh, minutes, we're going to be learning some moves. And he taught me how to do the proper bow as I send it back to the studio. Alex Joanne. Uh, apparently, I've lost a bet here at the West Island uh, Karate Gym and, uh, or should I say dojo? Dojo. Dojo. Okay. <laughs> well, we're so happy to have everybody here. Is everyone having fun this morning? Yes. Okay. I love it. And uh, Kim here is headed to the World Championships next month. Uh, mm -hmm. It's October 31st. First, yeah. And that's in Japan. Now, uh, you've been doing this since you were eight years eight. old. Uh, how did you first get into it? Um, we had a school. Our, our first school, it opened up in Beaconsfield. Yeah. And um, it was the same style that my dad used to do when we were younger. So I was like, I just want to be just like my dad. So we signed up and then the rest is history. Now, when you get to the World Championships, there's no age category. There's no weight category. So you really have to train for everything. Uh, your first opponent is going to be uh, out of Brazil. Uh, what, what's, she, what's she looking like? Uh, she's a little bit smaller, but she's much bigger. Okay. Yeah. So how, do, how, would, you, how would you take her on? What's your technique um, for her? Well, we've seen videos and she's um, a heavy hitter. So she just stands there and just hits. So okay. I just have to make sure because I'm much lighter, so I guess I have to sort of move around and sort of work my speed as well. Let's say you had someone like myself. Uh, you know, I got a little bit of weight on me, not too much <laughs> weight. I'm like 6'2, two, two, we'll call me 217, 220. <laughs> Uh, how, how would you take me on? Um, well, I mean, you're taller than me, so I want to stay away from your legs. So okay. I would come in close, and okay. I would just work your body, work your legs, because I'm sure your cardio is not that great. Um, and, uh, and I, no smiling. I just work my speed and just work around you and sort of just wear you out. Okay, and obviously karate is always, always about the, the power. It's amazing how much power you can generate. Now, John showed me uh, how to hold this properly. Uh, maybe you can just show us a little bit about uh, what that Brazilian's going to feel in Japan. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready for you, whatever you want. You're good? Yeah. Oh, okay, keep going. Oh, my. How's she doing, guys? Woo! All right, we're here at West Island Karate. I'll send it back to the studio before my arm falls off, guys. <laughs> may be the greatest moment of live television. First, she tells him wow. he has bad cardio. That's right, and then she gets to kick him. Then she kicks him. I've been taught the proper bow, I've been kicked, and now I think I'm ready to learn some proper sparring technique uh, from John. Uh, we do have our two brothers over here. They're sparring away. Uh, and hey, listen, this is a really important part of karate, uh, learning to use the techniques that you learn in the classroom and apply them in the sparring. But it's, it has to be very controlled, right? It is very controlled. And again, the first lesson you learn is respect. So that transcends to everything that you do uh, into the sparring as well. You must respect someone because sparring without any respect is just pure violence. So it's a respect, a mutual uh, respect, and testing of one's abilities and pushing one another. 
Okay, so when I'm, I'm watching uh, the, the sparring behind me here, and like you said, it's controlled, but I mean, you are making contact, right? So yes. Uh, how do you do it? How, maybe you can show me a few things. Uh, we just thought you have to prepare. You have to exhale as you come, tense your muscles as you're coming in, you're getting hit. Okay. That's Out. it. You don't look, don't look, ease up. Okay. That tense upper body. Yeah. You're I'm, but I'm trying to block. Am I trying to block? Uh, you could try. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you could try. You okay. Hit. And up, little block. Ooh. Okay. So striking. That's it. You can throw some punches too. Okay. That's it. That's it. To the body. That's it. That's it. It's all respectful. That's it. And countering the movements coming up. And that's it. Okay, I got it. I think I got it. I, I, listen, I wanted to just talk a little bit about uh, all the people in the classroom. I mean, we have all ages here. We have uh, all women, ages. Men, children. It's, it's, it really is for everybody, right? It is actually. We, we provide, uh, it's not always it's about the contact and the, the full contact. Sorry. It's where it can go. We're trying to get the Olymp uh, full contact Kyokushin Karate and Shin Kyokushin Karate into the Olympics for 2020 in Tokyo. Uh, there is up to that level, but it starts off from kids, adults, uh, teenagers uh, of all abilities of all ages. There's a real fitness element to this as well. I mean, just I mean, holding the bag for Kim earlier, I was sweating when she was kicking me. I, I, you know, it's a real, it's a real test yep. uh, to your physicality as well. Thanks, John. And uh, hey, coming up, uh, we're going to be uh, doing a little more sparring. I'm going to meet some of the people in the class, and we're going to see our, our two little brothers, uh, six and eight years old, uh, sparring in front of us. I'm really excited about this. That's coming up in the next hour, guys. Here we are at West Island Karate. We've been here all morning, having an amazing time. I'm here with Julian. This is Philip. We have Nicole, and uh, I guess I'll start with you, Nicole. Uh, how long ago did you start karate, and, and what do you love about it? I started about five years ago, and uh, I have to say the, the thing that I love the most about it is that we're all a family, and that uh, no matter how old you are, uh, your belt, um, and uh, whether you're a girl or a boy, we all support each other, and we all kind of grow together. We push each other, and uh, yeah, we all, we're all pretty much a family. I mean, everyone gave me a little bit of a hard time because I have my white belt on, but I think that's all part of the fun, right? Uh, what's going on in front of us here? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, those two are adorable. They're really, like, they're, I have to say they're really cute, and they're really good for fighters, and, um, yeah. Did you do this as a kid? Uh, no, I started actually, like, uh, as a teen, but uh, seeing the kids, like, grow up, like, starting really young, to, it, it builds a lot of discipline, and you see, like, they're really... Um, they're going to be really good when they grow up Absolutely. to be. They're just sparring right now. And uh, I just talked with, uh, with Philip here for a second. Uh, you started very young, right? Yeah. At what it, age? Uh, four. At four. So do you, did you do this, uh, the sparring like this? Yes. I um, sparred a lot with Julian and uh, another friend, Nico. Um, we sort of grew up in this environment. And it was a lot of fun. And I'm always up for like a challenge. Right. Mm -hmm. What are the challenges of karate? Well, I mean, there's a lot of physical activity. There's, uh, you know, there's always going to be someone better than you. And that's, that's what helps motivate you. Because you always know someone out there is better than you. And you want to strive to be better than them, to be the very best. I love that. I absolutely love that. I actually, I know that there are some people out there watching right now on our uh, btmontreal.ca website who are streaming this uh, all over the world because I know we have a connection uh, with the West Island uh, Karate. I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stand up here, guys, for a second and get you guys all to join me. And uh, we'll end the sparring just for a second. I just want to thank everybody uh, for being here and, 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 and just showing me a little bit about uh, this amazing sport. John, thank you so much. It's and uh, hey, listen, that's, I guess that's it for the, for the morning, or? Not yet. Okay, what do we have to do now? We have to finish off uh, strong, as we started, with push-ups. How many push-ups? Yeah, all of them. <laughs> Stay tuned to BT. Have a great Wednesday, everybody. You're watching City.